Hello and welcome to the Brick Freak. Today we have something special from the company Carda. Model number is C81021. 1406 pieces and it's the world famous SCAR assault rifle. It's from Belgium and I believe it's together with the Kalashnikov perhaps the most recognizable assault rifle in the world. My 14 year old daughter never seen this rifle in real, where? <laughs> We're in Germany. And she doesn't play video games herself, but she saw her friend playing, her boyfriend, and she watched him half an hour. And I finished this here and she came along and says, oh, that's a scar. A 14 year old girl recognizes the scar. So for me, together with the Kalashnikov, this is obviously the most recognizable assault rifle in the world. Perhaps you Americans are not so happy because you think the M16 <laughs> is the most recognizable assault rifle. No, it isn't. It's the Kalashnikov and the SCAR. Okay, this set here has two instructions. The instructions are okay. No, no real problem. Everything's fine. We have an L motor for shooting and this is the ammunition. We are shooting three length Technic beams. We have a cartridge with perhaps 10 or 12 shoots. I don't know how many we get in here. This is rubber band driven and here is our line the most problems if you have any. I had in the beginning, my friend Steven here, my colleague fixed it, I, I had a little bit too much pressure on the rubber band and there was too much pressure on each of the Technic beams and they get hit from the motor but the power through the pressure wasn't enough to get really far out of uh, here it went straight to the floor. So Steven changed it a little bit and I believed I used the white rubber bands. You have a black one. But I believe I used the white. Was the white in? He no. No. Was, was, it was the black? Okay, yes. then then he only changed the way it, it flows here. So it's, you have only one possibility to add in. We can here fold the buttstock like the real the real deal. I don't know. I don't remember. I, this is. Uh, I. I don't remember if this here is. No. Perhaps you have this. Here is this here to slide in and slide out. I can't remember. Stephen said it is. I don't know where the mechanism is at the moment, but I believe, yeah, yeah, it is. It is foldable. I don't know how it is, but for me, I'm five nine or something like that. This is really. I haven't shoot the scar but I have shoot or in my hands uh, a R15 based uh, assault rifle so I like your M16 and it was a Heckler and Koch and the Heckler and Koch 416 is nearly nearly that length okay it depends on the barrel but it has nearly this length and so this is pretty close to the original in size. Pretty close. It depends on the length of the barrel, if you have a silencer or not. We have 70 centi 77 centimeters in length, we have 24 and a half centimeters in height, and we have, I believe, 7 centimeters in width. We have a solid. Here, fabric uh, band 
in black, but that's real. Like the real guns have. So, or your rucksack or something like that. This is pretty good quality. I don't know. Okay, we have an, like the Picarelli rails here, it's nearly the same. I don't know, perhaps. Uh, perhaps we should try. I don't have a. No, I have no accessoires for a Picarelli uh, here. Uh, but it's pretty close <laughs> looking, or is, isn't it, Stephen? Pretty close to, to the original Picarelli. And we have underneath. Here we have side and over. So I know there are some accessories. Perhaps there's a red dot or laser or something like that you can uh, achieve too. Buy and build and assemble it here like the original. That's that's really cool with the RE RA17 uh, based uh, machine guns, assault rifles. They mostly have a lot of space for the Piccarelli rails, and so you have a lot, a lot of possibilities to extend your weapon here. Okay, now is the, the thing everybody wants to see, is this thing here shooting. We make a little break, of course I, don't, I only want to make <laughs> the shooting part once, so without any words now comes the shooting and then the final words. Action. Na kommt da nicht. Action. Action. Na kommt da nicht. So sorry guys, the, Eng uh, the English take, um, yes, the battery was gone. So this is an overdub, my final opinion here. Uh, you see the shooting and yes, only half of the magazine is out, sometimes it stuck. So like I said, the magazine is the bummer here. And yes, it's, it's the rubber band. Uh, but I believe you, you can optimize this. You can optimize this. So perhaps, or what you've seen is enough. And you say, okay, who the hell shoots really with this here it's a it's a nice function to show and then it's it doesn't matter if it shoots three five or ten yeah it's only a little gimmick i want to build this i i love it i love what i see this looks like a very cool model and if you're that type of guy then okay just buy it and have fun if you want a perfect shoot function um then I believe you need some time and uh, yes, <laughs> you will at least need some time and some patience. Uh, but I believe it will be possible that you can shoot a whole magazine with this here, but not much faster than perhaps 10 feet or something like that, two or three meter. Uh, it doesn't shoot longer. What I think is a really cool that we have the simulated Picarelli rails so uh it, it really looks like the real one and you can uh buy additional stuff small sets like a, a red dot or a laser uh, yes they are not real but uh, they are looking cool and so you can equip this weapon and you see here it's it's mostly stable the the really weak point here is uh, that uh, the buttstock, buttstock is foldable, but okay, that is obviously that is, is not so stable at the rest. But if you like what you're seeing, and you have nothing against guns or weapons, and you like an enjoyable build, a technically interesting build, and like I said, you have nothing against weapons, this is really a good set. If you like what you're seeing, you can buy this. It's a good, good set. And if you are a, a mocker or a person who needs parts in dark tan, here you have it. You see a lot of Technic beams and panels in tan. 
and underneath a lot of stuff in black. So only for the purpose of the parts you can buy the set. Because from LEGO you don't get so many panels in tear and uh, slopes in tear and s such things. So only for the purpose of the parts this is a good set. Okay, so sorry for the overdub and yes, next time I check the battery status. Have a good time. I'm Frank, your Brick Freak, and I catch you in the next.